Hello everyone. In this video, I will walk you through the Builderius CSS framework. It is a minimalist and lightweight framework that uh, prioritizes semantic HTML. Uh, it uses a CSS variables along with a set of utility classes. Its um, minimalistic nature allows uh, it um, to adapt seamlessly and um, seamlessly to specific environment of a visual builder. And the framework provides a um, solid starting point. Uh, it ensures that um, common elements are styled. Uh, however, it also gives the possibility to extend uh, and change uh, based on the specific needs of user or the site that should be built. What does this minimalist approach combined with the freedom of choice and modification really mean in practice. The framework is designed to handle global styling efficiently. We have a page for previewing elements uh, of the framework, uh, how they uh, look like. It can be seen that um, global styles are added and they work out of the box. Uh, here we have an example for regular content and for component-like uh, elements. We have badges, buttons, several styles, and uh, we have uh, layout components, form fields, and uh, also tables, accordions, and paginations, and uh, cookie settings. All these elements are actually used inside the builder, uh, Builderius site builder. We have these elements, they can be easily added and used and uh, have a nice look out of the box. The framework itself, and now I'm showing you the code of the framework, right? Um, the whole framework can be split uh, in three parts. The first part is uh, CSS variables. These act as tokens covering both primitive values and functional CSS variables. Here it can be seen uh, those CSS variables and for instance um, variables size, they are kind of primitives and then they used in other uh, CSS variables like spacing or radius and some other uh, functional uh, CSS variables dedicated to specific elements. By, by saying functional, I mean uh, those which takes par take, uh, take parts in, uh, um, in specific functionality or component, like a grid, block quote, table, accordion, etc. The second part of the framework are, uh, is, is the set of tag-based CSS selectors. For instance, heading and many inline elements like uh, paragraph and there are also lists, block quote, etc. And um, we keep them in this way to provide the lowest specificity uh, possible uh, so user easily can add um, specific styles in the builder uh, without fighting um, framework, uh, fighting for overriding it, etc. Okay, and the third part of the framework is the set of class-based selectors. These opinionated utility classes integrate well with the visual builder. And here I actually scroll down to classes like for buttons, like badge. And here we also keep it in this way, like using a pseudo class where to lower specificity. And then we have badge tonal and badge outlined. Some of these classes should be added this way because internal parser in the Builderio site builder parses this uh, CSS code and provides these classes, class-based selectors in the context menu for uh, using in elements. Let me tell you also why we create our own framework, right? The goal was to provide framework that offers um, useful styles out of the box. Builderius users rely on it as the global style system within the builder. Many page builders still use outdated, in my opinion, outdated hard-coded reset styles and um, kind of limiting flexibility. Builderius takes a different approach. It is um, 
it's likely the first visual builder that um, offers a complete freedom of the base, base tiles. We provide a well-structured extendable framework as I'm showing it right now as a pre-installed option for global styles. Now let's go to the builder so I can actually show you how it works. Here we have editor mode loaded for site uh, for build areas. Those things that I mentioned earlier, uh, they can be accessed seen here in the selectors menu. So here, as you can see, as I, as I told already, all the framework is parsed and pre-built as a global setting. Each this selector can be accessed through visual UI and it can be modified. It can be extended if needed. Right. Uh, but also we have in the pro version, we have a code mode uh, that uh, has a complete two way syncing between uh, CSS code and uh, those values which can be seen in the visual UI. Here I have a possibility to extend the same selector flex role, but just by writing CSS code manually. And here another tab OCSS. Here actually the whole framework is visible. I can scroll down uh, to any selector, change, update it. I can also choose every scene and then delete. And there is no styles in the builder anymore. Again, uh, there is only these global styles inserted here, Not, nothing hard coded in the builder itself. Let me return the framework back. Okay, another panel, uh, UI a visual panel for management of the global styles is a CSS variables. So these CSS variables are exactly the same. Let me get back here. Exactly these variables located under root selector. They are uh, shown here. They are grouped by name and naming convention is explained in the readme file for framework. So basically, if you use the name, um, the name of the CSS variables that starts from specific word, like in this case, it's border, becomes uh, the group name. All other CSS variables, the same word, first word in the name, they will be grouped together. Here I have border uh, related CSS variables. Here I have button related CSS variables or color related CSS variables. It gives a possibility to automatically organize these CSS variables and then I can use a visual UI to change, update, extend, etc. Let's go back to the elements and let me show you what does it mean to provide automatic global styles out of the box. So here I have my div, I open elements list and then I need heading. By uh, pressing shift and clicking heading, I can add several headings. So I need six. Yes. Okay. Let me add the paragraph. I need two of them. Here I have a heading and styles. I uh, apply HTML tag H1 and I instantly see the styles related to heading H1. And then for H, here we have H2 already. Here we set h3 then h4 h5 and h6 and then we have regular paragraph or for the second one we we update tag name for this element to block what and here we go we have a we have our block what and then there is more settings for instance uh, this d with the class container is automatically recognized as a container element and here I have the same D with class container. So there, there is a uh, synchronization between the elements, their styling and do there is framework. And here I have additional styles and they can be instantly applied while, while, when I click on these buttons. So here I have container full width or I can have container just wide or narrow. So I can decide it. And there are more if I add um, div and then inside div I would like to add link button here. Uh, so I here I decide if it's just a regular anchor or maybe it's a, a link that looks like a button. And let me duplicate 
four times and this for this div I go to styles here in the context menu I search for flex row class and I have uh, the styles applied here and then going back to my buttons uh, the first one is the default style for buttons the second one I would like to have it style tonal and for the next one outlined and the, the last one ghost styling and here we go very easy to use the styles are extendable right uh, they are modifiable and it's very easy to use in the builder because of of the integration uh, visual ui settings and now i'm just thinking uh, about one more thing that i didn't show you but i would like to so for instance so far i showed you synchronization for classes and here i would like to show you also using css variables so here we have i'm just typed it two dashes and here i have my css variables again as you remember the the very same variables are created and added by the data css framework these variables are manageable in in the panel css vars and here i just decide occasionally to use a uh, color error 300 for my text and here we go the Builderius CSS framework is open source, freely available to download in our GitHub repo. There are two more things which are not quite ready, but they are coming. They are Figma basic design file with all the components recreated in the Figma. Okay, And then Figma plugin, which should be connection like bridge between design file and the site builder. It will be possible to import and export CSS code based on the variables used in the Figma design file. Uh, so these two assets will also be free and they will be available soon. I would like to ask you to give us suggestions to make this framework even better. Please use a mail address written here or post your suggestions in the Builders Facebook community. Thank you for watching.